Island. I'm from Tauranga. I'm All from right. Tauranga Moana. You're probably wondering why I'm sitting in my truck. Um, we don't have any Wi-Fi at my place at the moment. We've just moved back recently, and we're just chipping away at some of the finer things of our whare. Uh, so I'm greeting you all from inside my Hilux surf. Good stuff. A tēnā rā tātou, a, a, nō kunei ahau nō tauranga moana me te waikato, tata ki te kaukauroa pā te tere, a tōku tūranga waiwai ko kaui a tēnā, te rohi o kōpiru. Uh, me kia Sofi, kia koutou, um, ko wai au, ko au te kaiarahi o tētahi o, o ngā kaiarahi uh, mō Ions. Um, so kia ora everyone. So I'm, as, as I said earlier, I'm, I'm on Matakane at the moment. It's an island. The Wi-Fi is pretty average. Try and keep this short, but I'm from Tauranga Moana and uh, Waikato, a place called Okawia. Uh, and uh, it's also called Te Rohi o Kōpiru. It was one of the paramount rangatira for our area. And I've just been helping Sophie and the Eons organization, Eons Whānau, uh, with just navigating some Te Ao Māori spaces and some Te Ao Māori lenses that we're applying to to unit standards and these things that we're hosting this evening as well. I uh, hope everyone's had a good start to their week on the Monday. I think students are back, I'm not too sure, but um, but kia ora, I'll, I'll jump in a little bit further on down the track. Thank you, Sophie. Kia ora, thanks, Amorangi. Um, so, Amor has um, made a little resource a while ago, and it's a set of cards that um, you could print off and laminate and use in te taiao, uh to help with um, your kupu uh, with certain features in te taiao, and it's a starting place to uh, work on... Um, kupu and uh, just a different uh, way you could look at learning te reo or learning with your students um, and practicing with your students. So did I uh, let you talk a little bit about that uh, Amorangi and then we've got um, we've just got six of those cards that he's going to go through um, and then we'll show you where the resource is stored and that will be us. Well, Thank you, Sophie. Um, kia ora no. So these resources came about, I was working previously with a Polytech in Hamilton, uh, Wintech, and these resources come about because there was a lack of reo being used in our taiao when the reo Māori is one of the original words from our taiao. So uh, these kupu that were created were from my whakaro and the whakaro from my whanau also. There will be different names for some of these uh, features such as paimonga for, for your mountain ranges, etc. Uh, but these are the ones that we use in our rohe, in Waikato Whanui, and in um, Taranga Moana on our Mautiri o Matakana. Kia ora. Oh, so here's our... So the first one... Yeah, there you go, Safe. No, that's all I was going to say. All right, too much. So these are the uh, some compass bearings. Um, if you're like myself or your students are out in the out of the ngahire, uh, using compasses, this is just another way to weave in some kupu Māori. Um, instead of whaimi north, whaimi raki, or rafati east, there are different, as I said earlier, different names for these, um, I guess, directions throughout the uh, our motu and Aotearoa, uh, but these are the ones we use. Uh, Hau Marangai is another one for East and Tauranga Moana, but we're just using, well, I'm just using Rafati. Uh, Tonga, South and Uru, West. So these are just North, South, East, West bearings. And then our second one is more of a, a applicable use of reo in our, in our taiao. So Tonga Mauru, Southwest, Tonga Ma Rafati, Southeast, Raki Ma Rafati, Northeast, and Raki Ma Uru, Northwest. Haere ki is just your direction. So haere ki raki, haere ki tonga, haere ki tonga mauru, southwest. Um, and as Surf mentioned earlier, these can be printed out, laminated, and used in the taiao as well. So if it's raining, it doesn't even matter. I was thinking a really cool game uh, could be to um, use those directions with your students, you know, out on the field or anywhere, and just haere ki tonga mauru, and they've got a run in that mm. direction um cool way to, to learn um those four plus the other four as well Kia ora, and then some of our features of our whenua paimonga mountain range maunga is well some of us may know mountain hui or taupai for the ridge tihi peak ara track and rako tree stick or plant um, 
Same thing here. If you've got the your map there, your topo map, and you're trying to find the range or a ridge um, or the track or, or a peak of, of a feature for your students, this is just uh, from my own understanding and applying it in a, a, a physical context, I guess. But if you're out there looking at your map there, you'll be like, where is the tihi, uh, maunga, kiwi? And as we progress further through these uh, little corridor that we have on the on the Mondays, then we can get deeper into to using these and, and asking where these are with our tawira and, and in te reo Māori as well. But this is just to plant some seeds uh, to encourage and to use uh, our reo or te reo Māori in your practice, in your daily practice. Kia ora. Some more features. So our river Moana Ocean doesn't always necessarily relate to an ocean. Uh, it's just a large body of water for your moana. Roto lakes, Poawawa, uh, Gali. That kupu there is uh, taken from Tu Um That that kupu comes from when the Fanganui was created uh, in the in the pathway or in the wake of Taranaki moving out to the west coast and Te Pakungonga Maunga. Kuawa was is the gully that's created. Manga stream and Purua Tanga, a uh, confluence of two streams. So, yeah, these, to my own understanding, to my Yokono for Karo, these these would be um, pretty cool to use in our Taiyo instead of going, uh, you know, find me the nearest uh, confluence of these streams so we can um, do some triangulations or, or et cetera. Using these, these kupu Māori. Um, not only to encourage yourself, but to encourage your tawira to use them out in the field and in and, and a physical environment. Quick question from me, Amorangi, um, back two slides uh, with Haere Ki. Could you just say Haere Ki Roto? So for that one, it'll be Haere Ki Te Roto. Te Roto. Haere Ki Roto would be go inside. Haere Ki Te or you'll just use the ingwa of, of that roto that's already there. So yeah. roto aira is your classic one below Tongariro and um and Taupo there. So just either the name of, of the, the lake or the feature or or this this label here, Roto Lake. All right. Um if anyone else has questions, feel free to pop them in the chat as we're going or um just unmute and, and ask or uh Raise your hand with the little raise your hand button, etc. Um, I will move on. Uh, then we get into our huarere. Um, again, these are really, no, I wouldn't say basic, but they're real surface level uh, kupu for, for what we're trying to describe with our reo. Um, going down to Taupo or to areas with a lot of snow, they would have a lot more kupu to do with snow. So it's not just hukarere or hukapapa for ice or snow. There'll be all different types of huka. Um, so I'm just going to reiterate that these are just the surface level uh, kupu for describing what, what's in your taiao. So huarere, hua is like the fruits um, or what comes of something. So your hua, your child, your children are, are your hua. So they're, they're from you. Um, they're the fruits of your labor. So huarere is just the fruits that are flying around. So weather. Uh, huka papa, huka is, is white or you got huka falls, uh, huka moana, huka ngaru. Those are just the white caps that are created by that, that thing moving just to describe something white. So huka papa, white, flat on the ground, ice. Huka rere, it's flying snow. Ua, uh, rain. Different types of rain in Waikato, they have the drizzling rain that's real light. They call that um, ua katakata. And it just feels like it's laughing when it's hitting your skin. But again, ua for rain, papua, clouds, and ho winds. And then into our clouds. Um, if you're anything like me, I love clouds. You can tell what's going to happen. Weeks in advance from reading or tohu, um, some Fanonga who recently come to our last conference, uh, it's his name, Ishirangi Heke, he talked a lot about clouds and tohu taka. So, um, tohu taka is just reading your environments to establish what you're going to do for the day. But going into this, cumulo nimbus okewa, okewa are clouds that just hold moisture. So, your dark, real dark gray clouds that you know it's going to rain, okewa. You're serious. 
um, PPP or PP or P. So different ones there. But PPP, pretty fun word to say anyway. Um, it's our serious stratus, putahi or purehurehu. Uh, putahi is what we use here, what I use um, typically if I'm out in the field. Cumulus, tapuia, mare's tail, iorangi. Uh, and then red sky at night, this is for the West Coast calf here. Um, in those areas there, that's where these two uh, kupu come from. So te, ta te tatau or tatau or tatua or te kahu. And also te tatua or te kahu, bank clouds and red sky at night. Um, all of these high features, I guess you could call them, all have whakapapa as well. I think it's one thing to realise that all of these kupu have whakapapa that link them back to an origin point. Um, Iorangi, that's just relating back to Ior Matua Kore. They also call it the hair of, of Ior as well, but that's the whakapapa that these kupu hold, and more often than not, these kupu or these features are related back to Atua as well. But again, that would come in further corded or this, these ones here, just to plant your seeds. But running over those again, Okiwa, PPP, Putahi, Tapuia, Iorangi, Te Tātua o Te Kahu, Te Tātua o Te Kahu. Kia ora, thanks Amorangi. <clears throat> so those are just uh, six of the um, six of the uh, cards there. Um, I will show you where to access them along with other resources on the Eons website. Um, that's the kind of links you follow, eons.org.nz, uh, and then resources, publications, uh, then Te Ao Māori, and then look for the Kupu Māori in Te Taiao. And um, we will continue to be adding resources to that over the next wee while. We've got a few things lined up. Um, and also our website will be getting a revamp at some point um, in the near near future-ish. So um, you'll be able to find things maybe a little bit easier. Um, so I'm going to click on here click to the EON's website, hopefully. And this is... Our website if you haven't seen it before um lots of great resources on here um definitely worth having a hunt around if you haven't um so jump onto resources and publications scroll down to te ao maori <coughs> click on that one and the resources we've been talking about kupu maori and te taiao um there are also lots of other resources here you can um, have a have a look through. Um, so yeah, when you've got a little bit of time, um, and like I said, we're going to be continuing to add to this over the next wee while. So if you click on that, you'll basically see what you have just seen. And there are a bunch more um, kupu cards here, which um, we're going to run more of these wee webinars along with other um, Pop up as well. So, um, yeah, this is what it looks like. It's just a PDF that you can uh, print off, laminate, and and cut up, make little sets, or um, and and create games with them, um, and use them to either learn or learn alongside your students, or um, yeah, you might already be learning from your students. Um, so I'll just go back. Any questions around that? Oh, question. Te Amorangi is Whitewater Hukawai. That wasn't our chat. Uh, why, why Huka? Nice. Why Huka? Mm. Um, <laughs> while um, you are thinking, if you do have any questions, because um, Amorangi is a wealth of knowledge, so um, please, yeah. This is a great opportunity to ask him, or if you're wanting like a breakdown of a one of those specific words, um, because you know, uh, Te Reo Māori is is a lot more than a translation, as Amorangi's already said. This is just like planting the seed, but um, you know, words have a huge whakapapa to them, and um, really understanding words on a deeper level is um, you know, pretty pretty awesome. Um. Kia ora, I have a year seven class researching whether with a Books. traditional Māori knowledge and interpretations of 
whether we're finding information online but wondering if there's any books that cover this. Uh, so one of the recent books I'm reading is a Andrew Crow book. Um, uh, what's his? It's not Navigating the Stars, but both of them work in correlation. Navigating with the birds, I think it's an Andrew Crow book. Real awesome book. It's got a lot of um gems in there. Just have to sift through it. That's a good uh book, book to look at. And then Witsi Humaida, he has uh, it's not necessarily from well, it is science. It's science to us. Uh, but it just depends how you look at it. But his corridor within that book too, if you if you nitpick through it, there's some um, weather corridor around there because he traces our our Papa uh, back from the islands and the different tohu that we used to read. So for example, the PPP, um, we're just as we know it today. It's, it makes sense, but high winds and then when that pressure drops, it comes down. But for sailing. That was typically over land masses was where the PPP could be found and, and that's how locating them through those kind of avenues would, would help out. Awesome. Thank you, Amorani. Doesn't really that help. Oh, and here's someone else there's sharing. there's a couple more. And someone else is saying, Te Taiao, Māori and the Natural World. Uh, that's an awesome book published by Ara. Cool. Thank you, Tui. Yeah. Feel free to pop pop any more questions in there. Um, if you're while well, you're thinking of some, um, I'll just share uh, where you can get a bit more support as well. So, um, like we've said, we're gonna try and run these um these webinars probably every second week or something, and we will try and switch up the days a little bit because I know I'm not uh, Monday doesn't work for everybody. Um, and we don't want to webinar everybody up because we all got a bit webinared out with COVID as well. So, um, we'll just try keep them uh, light and quick. Um and yeah, uh, a few places you can get some support. Um, so you can always email this address here, kaiarahi at eons.org.nz if you have any questions uh, to myself or Amorangi. Um, if you have anything specific around EOTC, then um, Fiona is the guru there. Uh, our Education Outdoors New Zealand Facebook page um, and also Outdoor Education Teachers New Zealand Facebook page. Um, regional hui for outdoor education teachers. Um, those are kind of based more around NCEA and senior outdoor education teachers, but we have all the dates uh, up on our website. And um, a good chunk of the day does have a big focus on um, te ao Māori and also um, Mātauranga Māori and outdoor education PLD. Um, so the next one coming up is at Te Hokunga Marae in Agaville. Um, and that is the 7th and 8th of September. Um, we still have a little bit of space there. So if you are interested, um, I can quickly show you where to sign up. Um, if you jump on our website under professional development and you can come into Mātauranga Māori and Outdoor Education. Uh, we've recently just hosted this one in um, Whakatū, but yeah, this is our Dagaville one. And very soon, you will see um, another flyer here for one in Ōtekoti, Dunedin. Um, we're just in the planning stages of that. You can register for it already um, under PLD events. Um, and, yeah, we're hoping to continue with those next year. Um, so there's just some places you can find a bit of support. I'll come back to our um, questions because it looks like we've got a few in here. Um Thank you for your knowledge. And question in Te Māori. Kua so I just saw is that uh, two. Kāreo do kāreo tino mōhio he puka puka Māori pāri ki te tāio. Engari e mahi ngā puka puka mō rungoa rāko. Era mo taiao, engari ko te taiao katoa kauri ano. Pia, pia, te rā pia. So I don't, yeah. Not too sure about that, not too sure about that. Cool, I'm just going to stop our share there. Um, sorry, our record is what I meant to stop. But lovely to see all your faces. Um. And if anyone has any more questions,